Hi guys, in this video I will show you how I made a ground blast effect in my latest Instagram reel in After Effects. So here I have my car clip and a footage of ground blasting. First what we are going to do is, we have to track the ground footage with our video. So make sure to toggle off ground blast layer for a while and then select your clip and click on track camera. Once the analyzing is done, make sure to select points on a car, then right click and select, set ground plane and origin. Right click again and select, create null and camera. Toggle on ground layer and move it above track null. Now link it to null and enable 3D on it. Press S on your keyboard and scale it until it looks fine to you, then correct the X, Y, and Z rotations and then position it right where the car is. In my case everything looks fine to me. Now make sure to select your clip and solo it. Duplicate your clip and unsolo it and rename it to original. Toggle off original layer and select top one and rename it to background. Delete 3D camera tracker on it and then add Mocha AE on background layer. If you don't have Mocha yet, I recommend you to download it now and make a smooth tracked masks. In Mocha grab a pen tool and mask the car like in the video. Once you're done masking, click on tracking button. As the tracking is finished, click on save and close Mocha AE. Expand matte now and click on create AE masks. Now press M on your keyboard and change mask mode to subtract. Now we should remove the car from a background and make sure your car is all black like that and make sure your bottom layer is toggled off, otherwise you won't be able to remove the car from a background. Now go to content aware fill tab and click on create reference frame. This will open a Photoshop for us. In Photoshop select remove tool and remove that transparent spot there. Once you are satisfied with the image, press Ctrl plus S to save it and then close Photoshop. Move reference frame layer right above the background and then go again to Content Aware Fill tab. Copy my settings and click on Generate Fill Layer. Wait until analyzing is done. Once it is done we can check our clip. Everything looks perfect to me, the car is removed and the background is smooth, After Effects and Photoshop did a great job. Now unsolo all layers and then make sure to move ground blasting layer above the fill layer. Let's check it now. I'm very satisfied with the results. And now it is the time to bring our car back and animate it too. Duplicate original layer and move it above all other layers. Rename it to car only and make sure to delete 3D camera tracker on it. Toggle on car only layer and then grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Now scroll forward a bit where the ground starts to blast and press P on your keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon and then hold shift and press R on your keyboard. Click on rotation stopwatch icon as well. Now scroll forward a bit and move the car up something like this. Change rotation as well and then let's check the animation. Looks cool. Now scroll forward again and then select position and rotation stopwatch icons and right click on them. Click on reset to bring everything to normal. Let's check it again and then let's smooth the animation in graph editor. In my case the animation is too quick, I will move last keyframes a bit forward. Now select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Now go to graph editor, right click here and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve now, copy mine or play around until it will look cool to you. Enable motion blur on car only layer and let's check the animation one more time. Everything is cool, but the animation is still fast. Select first four keyframes, then hold alt and then stretch them a bit. Now select last four keyframes and stretch the ending as well. Now that's way better and smoother. Lastly we can add shake effect. I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.